Hello, my name is Vernon. And today I'm going to do a reaction video. Everything wrong with WrestleMania 17x7 by Christian Mariko. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll be looking forward to listening to some of his sin videos after he has, well, has fully recovered from it. When I look at this crowd right here, I feel bad for anyone that's very short sitting in those stands because they most likely can't see shit without standing on a chair and getting bitched at by the guy behind them I can't see. Certainly knows, Polly. Alright, I don't care what anyone thinks. I can't take Paul Heyman seriously if he's referred to as Polly. From a video occurring literally during an entrance of WrestleMania, WWF is a dick to William Regal. You have to be very careful. William randomly turned before falling after that kick. Out of bounds, ah, you went over, William. Yes, I know Chris hit him in the head, but after we normally see wrestlers land on their opponents from suicide dives, this just looks funny. Oh, what a suplex that was. William taking his time going for the pin is likely the reason Chris kicked out. And really dim white. As if we care what the referee's names are. Bradshaw spends almost one whole minute describing the events that happened at the stadium as if that mattered to Taz's absence. I don't care what anybody says, this entrance is annoying as fuck, and I think I got a massive headache from hearing it again. Farouk and Bradshaw are known as the APA, even though Howard Finkel decides to just call them the Acolytes. Farouk was already starting to fall well before he got the clothesline. Oh. Farouk's hands slipped through Bolo during the power slam, making it look like they both flipped on his own accord. Oh. The way Taz fell was so random, hilarious, and awkward. He waits a good, no pun intended, four hey, seconds before falling there. from that squash in the corner Continue by the good father. Those are some of the most awkward weapon choices I've seen in hardcore history. Match starting early. <laughs> the cameraman can't even get a look at the action due to all the fans. Property damage. Oh, that attempt at locking the door failed. Also, I have no idea what the fuck they are. Not the clean shirts, no! Attempted escape and failed. Was that the same ice that Trish Stratus was supposed to cut up for Stephanie? Not the drinks! No! Ow, my hands! Also, ah, food on the camera. Oh, Kane tossed Big Show and Raven into the cocaine pile. What the hell did I just see there? Meanwhile, thousands of miles away. Random interview with a random fan. WWF rules! Fuck yeah! Previously on WWF. Did the referee seriously just do a fast count? <laughs> ah, your foot got caught. Also, how did Tess not break his ankle from that, or do some kind of damage to it? But that was! The referee could have clearly seen Perry enter the ring. Despite being distracted by Eddie, he would be able to see Perry from the corner of his eye, unless he has no peripheral vision. Okay, first he didn't see Perry enter the ring when he normally would have, but the referee seriously didn't hear Tess get slammed on the map or feel the ring bounce when that happened. Distracted or not, there's no way you'd be able to ignore that behind you. <laughs> Lying, cheating, stealing, that is Eddie's shtick, yes. It's what made him so famous. But still, lying, cheating, and stealing sadly do not avoid the sins, no matter who's doing it.
Can you be a fair and impartial official tonight with a street fight against his son Shane? Nope. I'm going to call this one right down the line. I'm going to call the match down the middle even though I have a plan. Cliche. Wait a minute, is Steve Austin's locker room inside a bathroom? Whoever came up with that idea is an asshole. <laughs> Kurt's pyro went off grandly. I think I forgot to pose in place. This is as exciting as a man can get with his clothes on. What the fuck? Kurt tells the fans to shut up because they applaud his performance. Eliminates an entire... Here's a random look at a sing down crowd. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, uh, why didn't you just leave it as a wrestling match? I was actually having a hard time finding sins during that. Now I believe this will be easy. Chris loves slapping tables. He can wrestle, he can brawl. Angle can do it all. No one like a rhymer, Paul. What's up with the referees always counting fast? This is more of a cross cheek rather than cross face. Also, copyright infringement. Wrestler taps out when referees incapacitate a cliche. Using the as leverage for victory is always a sin, whether it's a heel or face doing it. Skip. Oh my god, someone please shut that music off! Honestly, Ivory didn't have to hit China with the title behind the referee's back as the match didn't even start yet. And it is over. This match was only two and a half minutes long. Tonight, you get shot. Vince predicted Linda kicking him in the McMahons. <laughs> the sin here is I can't say a word about Shane's current theme as this was 2001, since it looks awkward seeing him coming out to Vince's theme. And yes, I know, that's what he used back in the day, but still. Author and three-time world. Aw, look at that kid trying to get on camera. Dysfunctional Mania. JR thinks this should be called Dysfunctional Mania when it should really be named the best WrestleMania of all time. And this time it's true. No chance. What you got. Wait, didn't we already hear that thing? Oh, right. The bell rang even though Mick never called for it. You're supposed to ring it when the referee signals you. Also, the only reason I am removing a sin is because considering each one is the chairman of a wrestling company, this is WWE versus WCW at WrestleMania. Stephanie's early interference did not affect the course of this match whatsoever, so this must have been a random call for attention. <laughs> what else is new? Foreshadowing Triple H versus Undertaker. Not the one happening later on in this show. I meant the one ten years later. No, I don't know what you mean. I'll spell it out for you, Paul. S A W. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I'm in 2001, oh, no, not 2016. The same kind of goes to me for being stupid as usual. <laughs> Mick attempting to direct commentary. Is it because Vince is in the ring and not giving JR instructions from the headset? Shane crashes through table with no one on it, cliche. He said bitch, all right? This getting Linda into the ring situation lasts nearly three minutes of match time. Mix the referee. They're not supposed to take sides. It's against their job. No matter how badly they want revenge. Previously on WWF. eliminated. Eliminated? This isn't an elimination match, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a get hit with a letter in your out rule. Edge and Christian are dicks to Matt's future children. I was about to give Edge the sin for first letter to use it too small to reach the practice cliche, but after realizing that his height would give him an advantage, I give the sin to Matt instead in his attempt. <laughs> he snapped back off Matt right there. Devon clearly missed Edge right there, but the WWF made sure that the cameras didn't pick it up. Also, with Devon to protect from the top of the ladder, I would have removed a few sins. The sin is Devon missed the chance of an epic moment. First table, yeah! Wait, is there any under the ring? Nope, guess this one will do. Jeff Summer survived that without injury, unlike what Edge is about to do to him. Edge dumped unceremoniously over the That was Christian, not Edge. Don't you remember that Edge is the one in the purple tights and Christian in the yellow tights? Matt Hardy 
clearly jumped off the ladder. He could have held on after that last punch from Edge, but decided he wanted to take a ride instead. In other words, bullshit. The Dudley boys would have won the match if it hadn't been for Bubba's random jump off the ladder. Now, okay, I'll admit, that was worth two sin removers. What a devastating one arm spear! I have ever heard in my whole fucking life. I can't stop laughing at that. Just remove a set and let me calm down for a moment. I will remove three sins for Jeff's wonton through that table. But unfortunately, I'll add in another two sins. First one, only one of the two tables were destroyed. Second, only Spike got the full hit. Rhino barely got grazed. I would say, haha, you failed, but I can understand that trying to walk on ladders is next to impossible. So the sin here is this. Possible epic moment ruined by the ladder's laws of gravity. And I'm going to start right there. It's going to be part two of everything wrong with WWE WrestleMania 17. Like Rich America.